going to tell you about some stuff that I'm working on. This is a MakerBot, and I've got one down here that I'll show you later. It's a 3D printer. It's a machine that you, ta you, you take a 3D model that you've either downloaded from Thingiverse or the internet somewhere, or, or you've gotten a friend to make for you, or you've made yourself, you've or maybe you know, it could be a model you've designed yourself, and you print it out. You turn it into a, an object. You can also scan things. This is a guy in, uh, in Belgium. Uh, goes by the handle Unfold. He scanned his face, and he's the most replicated human being on the planet right now. Um, I print his face out all the time. So the way it works is it builds it up layer by layer. Uh, some people mistake it, and they think, oh, there's a drill in there that cuts things away. But it's actually, the, that's a subtractive process. And ours is an additive process. It's an extruder that takes plastic and melts it down and squeezes it through a very tiny hot hole, and it comes out as molten angel hair spaghetti, plastic. And it draws with this molten plastic, and it cools down right away. And it, so it draws a picture, and then it goes up a little bit and draws another picture. And step by, you know, layer by layer, it builds up an object. Basically, almost anything you can imagine that's about the size of a, a mug or smaller. Me, Adam, and Zach co-founded MakerBot Industries, and we came up with Thingiverse as a place to share designs. And we did it from this place of, of happiness and joy and, pl and, and playfulness, where we got together and we were working on 3D printers for a few years just for fun, because at, you, know, you haven't been able to get one of these things for less than the cost of a Ferrari. So you can make, with this thing, you can make digital designs, and just, or you can download them. As was mentioned this morning, there's the Taipei 101, which is a beautiful building, and there's a model of it that you can build on, your, on a MakerBot if you have one. Uh, lots of people without MakerBots actually upload designs and then get to see them be made by you know, the thousand, more than 1,000 people in the world who have ma these machines who just make stuff for the joy of it because it's super easy, it's super cheap, and it's super fun. This is an open source bottle opener. So we're also obsessively open source. Everything we do uh, that, we, that, we share, that, we can, we, that we produce is open source. You can download all the laser cut files for our, that make up the outside of our machine. You can download all the board and schematics for the electronics that are on, on the, our machine. And we've actually specifically made them modular so that you can hack them and do other things with all the stuff that we have. So actually, like something like a quarter of our sales go to people who buy our stuff for our 3D printer and then do other things with it. Um, in this case, Zach made a bottle opener, which um, is something really handy to have. And the cool thing is, is the next thing that happened is he iterated and did another version of it and uploaded that. And then an industrial designer saw his version and took that and actually made it ergonomic and added a, a it, so it would fit on a keychain better. So there's a sort of iterative design process that we're obsessed with that open source just really is the heart of. Source, we're obsessively passionate about being uh, about sharing the innovation innovation process with our with our, our our community and pushing this thing forward to make it so that you can get one of these things and change the way that you think about acquiring and designing and making things in the world, bringing the factory to your desktop, bringing the tools of manufacturing right into your home. Okay, last story. So this is my favorite story. This is a guy named, um, his handle is Finn Flood. He's out of Philadelphia. And he was going to Iceland on Saturday, and it was Friday. And he realized that it would be really cool if he popped the question in Iceland. But he didn't have any way where he could like acquire a ring. So he maker botted one. And He's uh, just the perfect girl for him. She, get, she opened up the little box with the ring in it and was like, this is so cool. There's, how did you make this? What is this made out of? And he's like, hold on, there's a question I have to ask you first. <laughs> so um, she's, she said yes, and you know, now we can say make her about Prince Love. And uh, yeah.